Hello fellow living and hopefully breathing creatures, and we are back with another chapter of FE6 Hard Mode Bores Solo. And this one is easy, like usual. Maybe chapter 7 will be difficult, but despite the length of the video, this chapter is pretty easy. It's just that Wagner takes me about a year to kill, because his avoid is stupid. But yeah, really, there's not much going on to this map. There are three waves of ambush spawns to the north, and there is a wave to the south. However, it's only triggered by crossing a certain path, or not path, I mean line, an invisible line, that if you move past it with all your units, then it'll spawn. But you can get past this with just leaving any unit at the very beginning of the map and they'll just never spawn, so I opt to just leave Dorothy there. But yeah, not much to say for this. We just kill everything with boars, <laughs> like usual. I do opt to use javelins, even when not completely necessary, just to deal with the uh, enemies with javelins, even if I could otherwise ORKO them. With an Iron Lance, it's just easier to get them out of the way without having to manage everybody else. But yeah, Boars doesn't face any danger from any enemies on this map. Not even Wagner. Wagner doesn't kill him in three rounds, even if he hit every single time. So, not much to be scared of. Mages do, like, a little bit of damage to boars, and the armors can do about one damage. And then everything else just poses no threat whatsoever. Yeah, Kath shows up, and we opt to steal her stuff, just because it's free, free stuff. Why wouldn't you take it? Yeah, here I just heal boars for weapon ranks on my healers. The reinforcements are pretty irritating, just cause, uh, with how slow Boars is, you can accidentally pull them over to the right side of the map, instead of the side where Boars is. If I did redo this map, I'd probably just send him through the center, so he'd guaranteed bait everything, but I sent him to the left. Boris just kills a mercenary who does nothing to him. Yeah, we try and bring Chad up so we can open the door, but then a wave of uh, reinforcements is going to spawn this turn, which is going to be annoying. We talk to Kath, because why not? We may as well get an extra thief down the line. Here they come, and they're going to go a little to the right, which is going to make me say, nah, I probably should pull back. Just so, uh, Boar's guaranteed baits. Thinking back on it, I could have opened the door with Chad and then just rescued him. That would have saved a turn of just Chad stuff, but, uh, turn count isn't really something I'm paying attention to. Besides, uh, guide and chapter requirements. I hope I'll be able to meet all of them. I'm worried for chapter 14. Because you do get warp that chapter, but it's all the way in the bottom right corner of the map, and armors have one move in the desert. They have two if you use the boots. You do get the boots near the start, so... However, that's a pretty far off chapter. We still have quite a few before then. Yeah, here we just equip a jav so we can kill that soldier on enemy phase. And Kath will just run away like she does after you talk to her. Yeah, I just check the turn count to make sure... Yep dudes do spawn, because they spawn on turns 8, 12, and 16. Yeah, 
And I think they only spawn on hard mode. Not positive. I haven't played on normal mode in like a really long time, but I do think these guys are hard mode only. Which actually sort of makes the game easier in a sense on hard mode, because you do get more EXP. It's not like a uh, three houses maddening where your EXP gain is cut in half because fuck you. It's actually normal for this game. Yeah, we're just gonna kill him with a javelin so that we have it equipped for this turn. And then we can finally start getting treasure. Yeah, really not much to say for the latter half of this map. We're doing absolutely nothing besides killing reinforcements and killing Wagner at a snail's pace, but killing him nonetheless. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Here's the last wave. Armors and soldiers. Boris has nothing to fear. Get a Silver Lance. It's good to have for next chapter because I'm not sure if Boars will even be doubling the Wyverns. I'm pretty sure he will be, but if not, then he basically has to use the Silver Lance if he wants to do any damage. Javelin breaks. We opt to just kill that guy with a Javelin because we'll bait a mage on a enemy phase. Yeah, like that. We do miss one, though. Yeah, here we just trade him over to an Iron Lance for uh, enemy phase to kill that armor. Get a Goddess Icon, which we're probably going to save. A Goddess Icon is plus one hit, which is nice-ish, but plus one hit ultimately doesn't make a ton of difference, so I'm likely not going to use it on Boars. I think Barth has some luck problems, so might give it to him. I mean, there's no better candidate. But yeah, here we set up for a uh, rescue chain this turn. Because I'm really stupid, and uh, I don't get the last chest in that room with Chad. I just rescue him before getting it, so later in the map I realize that and I'm like, oh, time to send Chad this way again. Which, even though theoretically that would lead to more turns spent, it doesn't because Boar spends like 30 turns fighting the boss, spoilers, just because uh, Wagner is stupid fast, so his avoid is really dumb. And also, Boars isn't doubling him, because he's stupid fast again. But yeah, here we just deal with the enemies in that room. Since there is a chest, I forget... That's the unlock staff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely worth uh, using, like, ten lance uses to get... Because really, optimally, I would like to avoid as much combat as possible to save as many weapons as possible. Since Boris is max level, he doesn't get anything from combat. It's just clearing enemies. Yeah, money. Money is important for next map. Because we will probably be doing a lot of shopping. And more money. Here we're going to send boars to kill one armor that we don't really have to kill. I don't know why we even bother killing that armor, but we do. I guess I just wanted to break that javelin. That makes sense. Four use javelins do bug me.
Yep, there's the unlock staff. We're, we're building up a good supply of uh, weapons to sell, as well as uh, weapons we can use. Because the axes we will be able to use eventually, lances we can use on all our units. And uh, swords are worthless, and bows are worthless, and tomes are worthless. It's just staves, lances, axes that have any value. But yeah, here I realized, oh, I forgot that chest because I'm really stupid. So we do go get that. But yeah, as you can see, Bors has low-ish hit rates, like below 50% chance of hitting. But I don't think he should miss as much as he ends up doing. It gets pretty stupid how often he misses. Although, I guess I don't mind, since Missing with a lance doesn't use up any weapon uses, and if Boars gets hit, it is staff EXP, and uh, the EXP for my healers, so it's not a huge deal. Here, that's the last time he's gonna hit for about a year. But yeah, here we dump off our healers, heal Boars. I'm probably using all three staff users, because there's no reason not to. I mean, who else am I going to deploy? Uh, lot? <laughs> I don't think so. Here we get a level up for Marcus, because literally why not, even if he just gets skill. It's kind of funny to think that he's been in 100 combats even though he's not allowed to deal damage. Marcus probably is being used long term in this run. I mean, who's better? Uh, flyers are better than him for their utility, but uh, we only have three units long term that can fight. Maybe four if we let ourselves use Douglas, but I probably won't use him. I doubt we'll need a fourth mediocre armor. It's not like he can triangle attack or anything. But yeah, Boris just keeps on missing. It starts getting pretty annoying. And Wagner has about an equal chance of missing. So it's far from guaranteed free EXP on our healers. But yeah, Boris is just allergic to hitting Mr. Wagner here. Oh, and we also put a lot in range of that javelin armor just for more potential heal EXP, even though he only gets hit like twice by him. But yeah, here I'm like, what in the world, Boris? Why are you missing so much? I think next turn I've get give him a slim lance just cuz it's getting ridiculous how often he's missing like Wagner has almost healed like 10 HP in fact I think he has healed 10 HP at this point which is almost as much damage as Boris does in a hit it's really dumb Yeah, here I'm like, okay buddy, it's time to give you a slim lance so you hit a little more often, even if it is just a little more. But of course, 10 hit doesn't mean he's gonna, so he's like, lol, let me miss and get hit.
But hey, I can't complain. More healer EXP is a thing. If we're gonna promote them, they do need it. And plus, we would like someone to be able to warp. Is Boars gonna hit? Yes, he is. Good job, Boars. Boars can solo the game for a reason, and it's because of his amazing hit rates. A skilled Boars can beat any Damas, as they say. Maybe not a Wagner, though. Wagner takes a little more effort than Damas. Which is a total lie, because Damas could actually kill Boars. He just didn't, because he missed. Is Boars gonna kill? No, he's not. Like, he has a 50% hit rate, he's just opting to not kill. Until now. Yes, Wagner, your plan was truly flawless. Stand on throne and fight Boars. I mean, Wagner would have run out of Flux Tome sooner rather than later. It's not like he was any threat to anybody, but... He is scary if you're doing a normal run, just because he can double people. But in a normal run, you have Rutger, and Rutger just wrecks him. Oh yeah, I just used the unlock staff on a door there, just to give Saul a little bit of EXP. Because why not? And yeah, that concludes Chapter 6. It was a long, tedious one, with not much going on. Which is kind of a trend for the early game. Though we do get two more units to make use of, even if they kind of suck. Two chapters from now, so that is exciting. But yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.